Hi everyone. Wouldn't you just love a view like this? I'm here at 56 Cranberry Surf. And I just thought I'd start off with the view. It's fabulous. This is a condo. Um, you're right near Cranberry and uh, you're on the shores of Georgian Bay. It'd be an easy paddle to the grain elevators, it, to the harbor, and all along the shore. It's a, a nice protected spot as well. And you've got easy access to the bike trails and to the walking trails. I'll just flip it around one more time and give you a sneak peek here. A gorgeous day to share being on the water. There you go. So this is the harbor. Actually, that's the harbor. There you go. And this is a municipal trail. It's part of the Georgian trail system. And this condo at 56 Cranberry Surf has an outdoor pool, which at the moment is closed because of COVID, but that's where the pool is. So if you have grandkids or kids or, uh, you know, you've got an easy view to see what's going on without having the pool right in your backyard. You've got a little bit of property here that you can utilize. And right at the end of your unit is a little walk down path where if you wanted to launch a kayak or a paddleboard, you could uh, certainly do so on that along that path out to the shore. So it's a great, great spot. Let me take you inside. So this is the deck area. So you can have barbecues here. And there's enough room for a table. And then I'll take you inside the unit. Hi, Catherine. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. So this is the inside of 56 Cranberry Surf. Light bulb there that needs to be replaced. There's lots of room. Engineered hardwood flooring, room for dining, living, and I'll show you the kitchen with a quartz countertop, stainless steel appliances, built-in microwave, California shutters throughout. Really nice. It's actually quite open. They're open to the front door, which is really nice. You can kind of see down below here. And then also open to the condo itself. So you can see the views right through. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for joining us. And gas fireplace. And then, of course, beautiful, unobstructed view of the water. And I'll show you what the front, one of the nice things about this particular condo unit, uh, it's two bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom or a family room in the lower level. We had a little bit of a discussion as to whether this was a three-story unit or whether this is considered a multi-level unit. And it's actually, in a way, a three-story unit uh, in that the lower level is a walkout. So I'm just gonna take you out to the front here and just show you. So you've got parking for one car. I parked my car here to just show you. There's room, parking space. If you've got two small cars, you might be able to sneak them in there. But for the most part, you're one car and a single car garage. And then there's also visitor parking just over here. Right behind that, uh, that tree and hedge. So this is what the complex looks like. Some of the units have double car garages, some have single car garages. These ones beside all look out to the bay and then these all look out to the Georgian Trail and the Georgian Trail runs right behind these units. So you've got easy access to everything. Some of these units across don't have garages and I'll show you what this looks like. 
So you've got stairs, almost a brownstone type feeling. You've got stairs going up to the main floor. You've got a garage and if you were to go through the garage, you could actually walk to a little foyer and out to a family room or a third bedroom out to the water. So single car garage. You're walking up and into the front door. You've got a, a decent sized landing here. Certainly enough room to take your coat and boots off and and head upstairs. Engineered hardwood floors. And I'll take you upstairs first. Just show you, capture a little bit. You can catch that view. I'll show you the view from upstairs. It's the main floor. And then heading up, we have two bedrooms and each bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. And these big, beautiful windows across the whole back of the master bedroom. And there's your view. You've got a bit of a backyard. You've got the trail. You have access to bring your kayak or paddleboard down to the water. You can see the pool, but it's not right behind you by any stretch, so. And you've got the deck below. So I'll just show you this master bedroom, but it's gorgeous how the windows are stretched all the way across the back of this unit. So this is the master. Lots of room for either a king size bed or a queen size bed, walk-in closet, and an ensuite bathroom. Fully tiled, the bathrooms here have all been renovated. They're in great shape. Quartz countertops, tile, upgraded cabinetry, porcelain floors. This carpet's in really good shape. And then this is the second bedroom upstairs. Again, a nice view, California shutters. This has two twin beds. And again, an ensuite bathroom. Nice cabinetry and really nicely appointed shower with glass doors and tile mosaic floor. And I'll take you downstairs. So you're 1,700 square feet, uh, 1,760 square feet exactly. And you've got uh, condo fees at $617 per month. And those condo fees cover your snow removal, lawn care, grounds maintenance, pool, and any exterior unit um, issues or parking issues with the reserve fund. So this is the kitchen. Lots of storage here. Engineered hardwood floors. Can't get enough of this view. Seating. Barbecue. Gas fireplace. Feels really quite spacious. And then the lower level has a third bathroom, which is really handy because it's right off the uh, garage and easy access from any time spent outside. So this room is uh, used as a bedroom slash family room. So it could be used as either. There is a door and a closet and a walkout to the backyard. This will give you an idea of the lower level patio. And you've got a seating area. Two more twin beds. Tons of closet space in this whole house. Each room has a huge closet. Upstairs and downstairs. 
So tons of storage. Your minutes to Blue Mountain, your minutes to Collingwood, you're right on the trail system in Collingwood. And then this is the lower level bathroom. Glass door, shower niche, also really nicely appointed. Nice cabinetry, quartz countertops. So one of the questions is how do you get to the backyard? Um, there are no stairs going from the deck on any of these units. So you would actually come downstairs or through the garage and then you would come out through this lower level. I'll show you the garage as well. And then I'll take you outside to the front and you can have a look. So it's a single car garage. You got lots of space, it's nice and deep. There's a little alcove for bike storage, winter tires, skis, but you've got lots of room here, central vac. Laundry's down here as well. And before we go back outside, I'll just show you again just a few people joined us from that this back room, which is a bedroom, third bedroom, or a family room. This is the view, and this is where you would access the water. Uh, great spot to sit. Very easy to have a little patio here. And uh, there we go. We've got one of the neighbors is launching their paddleboard. I'll take you upstairs. If there are any questions, just let me know and I'm happy to show you. So again, we're at 56 Cranberry Surf and uh, this is a fabulous condo unit in Collingwood. We're right across from Cranberry. You have easy access to the trail system, all the amenities. Right across the street from this unit is, uh, essentially right across the street is Cranberry Muse. So you've got a couple of restaurants, pasta place, bakery, and uh, yeah, a few other amenities, a few restaurants that you can frequent that you don't have to go very far. Uh, Mike is asking about boat slips. So there's a marina, uh, Cranberry Marina is, I'll show you where it is. It's right across this bay here. So this is looking out the backyard. There's the pool and that's Cranberry or Bear Estates. And then you can see that little peninsula coming out, creating a safe harbor for the marina. And that's where the boat slips are. So you could walk along this trail. And if you had a boat slip, you could easily walk to, uh, to your boat slip. That is a public marina. so. Uh, there's quite a few docking spots and you can certainly consider putting a boat there. The other marina is directly across the harbor, which is a bike ride away uh, or a drive, probably a two minute drive. And you could easily park a boat there. And then there's also additional boat parking at uh, Lighthouse Point, which is in that direction down the trail. And you could easily uh, park a boat there. So lots of options. Um, this is a really nice spot to put in kayak or paddleboard. It doesn't get overly rough because it's protected. You can see the swans out there hanging out. Lots of wildlife in this location. It's a really great spot. And you're also protected here on the water side from the northwest wind which is kind of nice. So this is going back into the unit. Okay, 1,700 square feet and uh, two, two or three bedrooms. This family uses it as a three bedroom. It could also come furnished. So there is that option, quartz countertops. 
nice kitchen, lots of storage, lots of cabinetry, engineered hardwood floor. And I'll take you outside. to have a look. Um, one of the questions is no power boats in the lagoon. Uh, that area, the boats have a certain uh, route they have to follow to get out to the harbor or out of the harbor and into the bay. They just have to follow the buoys. There's uh, room for one car parking, single car garage. And there's visitor parking out here as well. And I'll just show you the front of the condo. And we'll wrap up. And I'll post this if anybody wants to have a look at it. They can if you're interested in a personal viewing, you'd like to have a look or meet with either myself or one of my team members. We're more than happy to help you out. So thanks everybody for joining us today. And uh, we wish you all the best for a great weekend. Have a super day.